Hi, I'm Lindsay, and today we are watching Freerin episode 6. So, in the last episode, I finally met Stark. I have been waiting to meet him for, it feels like forever. It's been like, it's been five episodes and then I met him, but I have seen him all over the place. So much fan art of him. I've seen him everywhere, so I was really looking forward to seeing him, and I finally got to see him, so... Yeah, but first, before that, uh, Freerin and Fern took on this, like, ghost village thing with, with illusions of people that are held dear to them. Fern saw Hyter, and she thought she wouldn't hesitate, but she did hesitate. And then Freerin, who at first saw her master, saw Himmel, so she said, oh, so I must, I've changed then. And then and bitch, she didn't even hesitate, and Himmel didn't even hesitate. The illusion of Himmel didn't even hesitate. He just said, shoot me. And she knows that that's exactly what he would have wanted her to do. So the bad bitch energy, it was radiating in this episode. Um, so Freerin shot through this illusion. But now they're trying to defeat this dragon that has, uh, I think it has a grimoire that she's interested in. This dragon has been, was like terrorizing this town and then we met Stark and he wants to protect this town. But we find out that Stark is a little bit of a coward um but he's hella strong we see what he's done to like the mountainside it's gradual but he is cut through the mountainside quite a bit and yeah so now fern has gone to see what stark is capable of and also stark was eisen's apprentice so you know stark hella strong he's just a bit of a, a bit of a wimpy boy but you know what I, I can't even blame him for that so yeah that's Pretty much it. This episode is called The Hero of the Village. Is that going to be Stark? Also, the name Stark, I just love it. It is just so perfect. It is, I did it strong. It's intense. Like, it, I feel like it's gonna, it's funny because he's kind of cowardly, but he's also strong. So I just like his name a lot. The Stark. And then, of course, Game of Thrones, you know, all of that. Um, yeah, so, anyways. So yeah, let's get into episode six. I'm ready to go here. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you guys have been enjoying this so far and I'm glad. Uh, this anime is very beautiful. Just be easy on me, please. If I don't pick up on something right away, people are very nice, but you know, it's hard to pick up on everything when you're watching something with subtitles like uh, in another language on your first time through. It's hard to pick up on absolutely everything. So just be patient with me. I am trying. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So let's get into this episode. Ooh, shit. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm, yeah, for an is seeing. Freerin told her, you know, go check it out for yourself if you want to see what he's actually capable of. And now she's seeing. I know, okay, I am aware that these two are shipped and that there's something going on between these two. I am aware because I see it literally everywhere. I can it cannot be hidden, okay? Anywhere I go, I see Fern and Stark. I know. The hero of the village. Let's go. Come on, Stark, let's let it let it be you. Okay, here we go. Some interaction. Mm. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, the village believed in him. They thought he. Uh, it's a facade. Mm. Oh, Fern. She looks so cool. I see. Oh shit. It's the name of the episode. Doesn't know what he'd do yet. Oh, Stark, you're so cute. Give me. Yes! I was like, I need to see this! I'm so happy! Aizen. <gasps> Oh shit, you know Aizen will tell it like it is. He's not gonna just be, he's not gonna coddle you. Oh, oh, she going, she grabbing his hand. Mm. 
Right. She's she's been okay. Okay. <gasps> oh, she was scared, but she had to. I mean, you have to. You die if you don't do any. Oh, she ran. <laughs> Freerun! Yep, that's them. That's the hero party. Man, I wonder if, like, Himmel had an apprentice or something at some point. <gasps> Get it, girl. Yeah, resolve. <laughs> mm -hmm. He wouldn't be putting himself through all this training if not. Yeah, he wouldn't. His hands would be so worn if he didn't believe. If he didn't have any resolve. <gasps> Do you just live on those rocks, buddy? <laughs> Love that she just sleeps on her back with a book. Mm, when the time comes, at least he's not alone, you know. Like he's he's has people with him. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's. Oh, I wonder if he actually ran. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. There he is. Oh my god, I love his design. <gasps> Fern's face! Ah, she looks so happy! Oh, that's so cute. Oh, shit. Hmm. There's gotta be more to this. Wonder what Aizen got mad at him about. Yeah. Oh, dragon. Oh, he just waiting. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh my god, Aizen is such an amazing character, honestly. Yeah, it isn't a bad thing to be scared. Mm. Oh, Aizen. Aizen, I love you. Oh. <laughs> Are they just... Is he just... Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested here. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna blow it? <gasps> Whoa! He's just right in the face of it! I wonder why, yeah. Mm. It's being cautious. Ooh, look at that animation, bro! Look at him go! Mm. Stark's just that powerful, damn. Well, I mean, Aizen was his... Yeah, oh, for being weak. Or because he was disappointed in him. <gasps> We parted in anger. Okay. Her hair is beautiful. Mm, okay. Interesting. <gasps> he was afraid of Stark. He was. Oh, that's so. Cr oh my god, look at her. She's proud. Look at him go! He's, he, that resolve is pretty strong, huh? Yo, Stark's so cool. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of happy we didn't have to go through this whole, like, I'm a coward, I'm just a coward storyline for forever because it gets a little old in anime sometimes. I'm glad that Stark ha figured out his resolve and stuck to it, stuck to his guns, you know? He did a great job. Is she leaving it to him? Oh, <laughs> he called her an old hag! It's dead? Oh, an old egg! Oh, yeah. <gasps> he killed it. He's. Fuck! He's strong! 
He didn't even know he killed it. So that is so interesting. Hmm. It is hard to read, Freerin, but... Oh, look at her go! <gasps> She's so cute. She's so cute sometimes. Scary sometimes. Like, there's so much going on with her personality. That town is safe now, Stark. There it is, right? Oh. What, she go out of her way all, time, all the time? He said it was ridiculous and fun. Oh, stop. <gasps> she can make shaved ice? Damn! Oh shit, that's a big deal. Fluffy shaved ice? Mm, mm. Oh, I haven't had shaved ice in forever. Mm. They're enjoying them. Enjoy a. Yeah. Oh, Hamel just inspiring them. Oh my god. They use his words so much to describe things. No. That's a lot, too. Oh, <laughs> just shaved eyes. Aww, that's so sweet. Wow, there's a lot of subtlety in the things that they say to each other. That's really beautiful. Oh my god, Himmel. They all were kind of inspired by him in a way. Ah, the pain. Damn, so Stark is so powerful that it scared Aizen. That's wild. Oh, poor Aizen, that's probably really sitting with him. <gasps> Look at her! Oh! She looked through the- They're looking through each other's clothes? Holy shit, shots fired, Fern! Damn! Oh, he's in the party! <gasps> the sky, Himmel, stop! In a, in a bird. Oh, what's that mean? 28 years. Fortress city of Wall. Wall? Well, I mean, it is a fortress city. Okay, we got armored. Love that Stark's just part of just part of it now i love that i love how things happen in the show like fast which i really appreciate we don't have to like dwell on all of these store wait where's stark okay i'll just shut up hello oh he's there okay <gasps> Look at those two together. Oh. <laughs> so cute. She lo <laughs> I love her hobby of collecting spells. Mm. She leaving them on their own? Oh shit. <laughs> Fern's intimidating. I don't know if she tries to be. In I don't think she tries to be intimidating though. Mm. Interesting. <gasps> Look at that. That looks so good. <laughs> What? Oh no, Aizen and Stark? Oh. Oh.。でも、こんな小さかったけど、ポーズが大人になっちまったからだぜ。書き残りは何もかもが大きかったのに。何も面白かったし、小さくなっちゃった。いや。Aizen I hope they get some kind of like Resolution, um, something. Passage of time is cruel. Damn. That's, that's it. 
You just want a glass of milk. What the hell is wrong with you? When you could be getting that. Oh, oh shit. Get married right now. Fern proposed to him right now. He's already offering you half of that. Okay, okay, okay. We might have to wait two more years. Okay. Oh, she's, yeah, she's so used to Freerun who's like takes her time and Fern wants to get things done. Mm. Oh, of course, of course there's a barrier. Mm. Oh, oh my god, the food always looks so good. When, here's my, um, my every video thing that I do um, where I praise the art. The art is beautiful. The art is perfect. I love it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Stark's ready. I mean, he just took down a dragon. Is he though? Oh, he's just being intimidating them. Okay, good for him. Okay, is it not working? Okay, kind of not working. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he is being cooperative. Like, why does he care so much? Hmm. <gasps> Does it have to do with Aizen? Oh my god, no, 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 no. Does he want to resolve things with Aizen before Aizen dies? No, 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 no. I mean, there could be more to it, but that's my first thought. Oh, I know. Little little master brought me here. Uh, stop, they're so cute. Uh, <sighs> Stark is so adorable. Oh, but he loves... Oh, he loves to talk about the hero's adventure. There we go, I'm tearing up. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. <gasps> he want that's why he wants to oh he wants to have stories like Aizen does. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Love the individual hairs flying around. I love that. Uh... He wants to have an experience like the hero's adventure. Oh, what is she? She's watching them. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, why is Furin so adorable sometimes? Oh. Oh, by guards. Yo, why is he so tall? Mm. Maybe they're suspicious of her? Interesting. Oh! Oh, did they not realize who she was? Because mm. they, they were there on their hero's journey. This is your opportunity, Fern. Mm-hmm. The kindness of a hero. She really, she does in a lot of ways. Okay, well that's good. Damn. Wow, that's the presence of uh, being Freerun, I guess. Being someone who defeats the demon, one of the people who defeats the demon king. Oh, they get a lot of praise. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say she wanted to take her time. Right, yeah, this definitely... I can't see this... Her being praised is... 
something she'd enjoy. Oh, but oh, Stark, my heart. Why are you doing this? I mean, I get it, because Aizen's so great. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yes. Yeah, oh my God, we're done. That episode went by like so fast, so 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 fast. Oh, that's so cool that, like, Viren's presence, and she didn't tell them who she was, so she, and she wanted to take her time, but as soon as they realized it was her, and she was part of the Heroes Party, that, uh, they made an exception for her. I mean, she's so strong. They, like, they probably know she can handle herself out there, but that is so, <laughs> so funny. There's... But it's, it's better this way. Fern wanted to get out of there. She's like, we don't have all the time in the world to be here. Like, we need to... We got, like, a 10-year adventure ahead of us. I don't want to just stick around this town for, like, two years or something. So, and I totally get that for her. Uh, Stark is so great. I like him so much. Oh, my God. I'm so, so, so happy we didn't get this trope. Trope sort of, like... Um cowardly character that has this whole like crazy monologue about always being weak and always being afraid blah 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 and it takes so long to get things done because they're like trying to gather up their strength i love that's how fast things happen in the show like it's a relaxing show but it happens quick like stark kind of he gets his resolve he has a conversation with fern and then he just goes oh Curious about that mage, like a fairy tale. Yeah. Okay. So, I, yeah, I like. I really, really appreciated how quickly Stark like got through that, you know, little th cowardly thing, and he can still be scared. He just or him like gathering his resolve, and that's what he needed to do. Like he was always strong enough to do it. He just needed the resolve to do it. And I didn't realize that Aizen had been training him since he was like a kid. So yeah, he must be like crazy strong as we saw. But that is, um, I love that conversation between him and Fern was really nice and really helpful for her to him. Um, we don't often see her, like we usually see Fern kind of explaining things to Fern. Fern's young still, but Fern like, telling him about her experiences with fear and monsters and all that as helping him realize that what got her through this terrifying situation is her resolve um like really helped him and really helped them in the end because he took on that dragon by himself also that animation was like really beautiful i was worried for a second that he had ran off and i was like oh no please no but i'm so glad that they didn't decide to do some like annoying thing about him being a coward um, and running away and stuff and like them struggling and then him coming back to save them sort of thing. He just like, he's literally just standing in front of the dragon and he's like, okay, I'm gonna do this now. Um, and his relationship with Aizen is just so sweet. Aizen, oh, I could get, have a whole spinoff just about Aizen and Stark at this point. like just their adventures and, and their training and stuff. But it's just so sad that it ended in anger because Stark was so strong that it scared Aizen and he reflex hit him. Like that's, I'm sure Aizen feels like a lot of guilt for that too. And I hope they can like resolve this problem that they had. Um, I wonder why, what Stark did to even like trigger that kind of fear in Aizen. Um, I will, yeah, but he obviously he took down this crazy dragon just like by himself. So he is crazy strong. We got a strong party going here. Um, and Firin was obviously very impressed and pro probably noticed a lot of the Aizen, like in the Aizen influence in Stark, which makes her happy as like, you know, someone from the hero's party. It's just so sweet. It's so interesting. Yeah, I was so glad that he just went for it with the dragon and he was like ready 
he like set it up so that they could take down the dragon but he had actually he didn't even realize that he had killed the dragon that's like how intense he is how strong he is and how like focused he was on the situation that he didn't even realize that he had killed the dragon it's really impressive for him and yeah what a really good character introduction like really really good and something i like about this anime is like you feel like you almost get two episodes in one sometimes like the first part of the episode kind of completed what was going on at the second half of the last episode so things kind of like feel kind of broken into fragments um and then they go into the city the wall the fortress city and that's like a, its whole thing for the rest of the episode and so there's like an interesting way to break up the story um love that we got a himmel uh heroes party himmel flashback again about how aizen's like outlook on their um on their journey when it began was that they're going to be probably there's a good chance of them dying and you know he wasn't looking at it with uh he was looking at it with like a pessimistic lens sort of which you know is fine but himmel said that like well we may as well we're doing this so we may as well have this, like we're gonna be on this journey for a while we may as well have as much fun and and enjoy it as much as possible and so you can laugh about it when it's over and that he literally said that um almost exact line eisen said that almost exact line to uh stark oh just the himmel influence it's just not a, it's not just on freerin it's on the other members of the heroes party that's so that's a lot of like presence to have like himmel that's a lot of himmel's presence to have in this story that he can influence so many characters and he's not even like in the story anymore um yeah just always nice to see a good himmel flashback <laughs> uh <laughs> it hurts and f so then they get into the city and oh my god the food that he was eating that stark was eating looks so good so interesting i love that Aizen tells him stories about their adventures in the hero's party. Oh, uh, Aizen just, they all like valued each other so much and like have different ways of expressing it. And Freerun's like more letting go of it a little bit, letting go of the, probably this in this nature of hers to not want to be close to people because most people will just die. Letting go of that a bit and maybe enjoying her life a bit more. I could be wrong. Um, I've only watched six episodes, so, you know, like, I'm only, I'm only talking about what I've watched, right? I can't just go, like, pretend, like, I know what the entire show is going to be like. I'm really just going off of what information I have right now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying my best. But <laughs> that's kind of what I'm getting is that she, like, is kind of letting go of that nature or that tendency to, like, hold on and not allow herself to get that close to people and maybe without even realizing it in the heroes party she was able to like enjoy herself more um i think maybe a lot of, that's their influence and himmel's influence is that she can enjoy these moments with people even if they're short for her um but i mean that's just my like view on it so far she's always adorable like it's so funny because she's so old like she's thousand at least a thousand years old or so and but i just find her so adorable sometimes like i love her carefree nature like she's got like a lot of personality going on and little bits and pieces from people i'm sure she's picked up over the years uh and yeah i like lastly i just like how fern is just like i we gotta go like <laughs> we gotta keep on this quest we gotta keep with it she's very she's determined She's like, we can't just like dawdle around for forever because unlike you, Fear Fearin, I am not immortal. I am not going to live for thousands of years. Um, if we're doing this quest, like that's gonna be a big part a good chunk of my life and like, you know, it's important to start getting to it anyways. And I love how Stark was so willing to help her for his own reasons too, but it's I like already getting to see these two interact a lot. So yeah. I'm so, I'm so here for Stark and, and Fern. I'm so here for Stark and Fern. I can see it already and I'm, I'm here. I'm ready. Give it. I want, I want it all. But yes. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. I think for this episode, it went by so fast. This episode went by so quick. Um, I really, really hope Stark and Aizen can meet up again and, you know, 
maybe Aizen can talk to him about well maybe they can resolve they can have a or they can resolve their issues you know because that they were obviously to like to get there for so long and it's just sad that it ended that way and i'm sure aizen feels bad about it and stark obviously still v very much values aizen so i just hope that um they get to meet at some point that's what i would really like and if they do i will ball i'll ball my eyes out but yeah anyways that's pretty much all i have to say um please cut let me know what you thought about this episode and yes uh comment like subscribe see you in the next one bye bye